hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can add the images from external url inside your pdf document using the pdf kit library inside javascript inside browser you will see that basically it will create this pdf document and it will insert this image which is coming from the internet from a url and basically we are able to insert this image you can take any image of your choice guys you can go to and splash there are lots of images out there you can insert those images and basically this is a code here which is there and here you just need to manipulate this url property and here you need to change this pick here you can take any pick of your choice here there are a lot of picks out there so let's suppose i search for a laptop pick here that i need to insert here let's suppose i need to insert this image i can simply right click copy image address and simply i will paste it here you will see as I paste this image basically if I reload the application so you will see that basically this image will be inserted you will see that this image is inserted inside the PDF document uh, successfully and uh, basically we will be able to do this process inside PDF kit all the source code is given in the description of this video guys you can go to the description and you can read the blog post and copy paste all the source code and the library that I'm talking about, this is the library PDF kit. It's a very popular library. It's a JavaScript specific library for generating PDF documents in the browser and the Node.js. And uh, this has got a nice little documentation out there. How basically you can perform all these things. So in this tutorial, we will be looking at how basically we can uh, insert images. So let's start building this application from scratch. So first of all guys, uh, you need to basically add a simple button here which is add image in PDF document. So as you click add this button, you will see this button out there inside your DOM. And we can even have a simple input field guys. So where we will simply type the URL. So let's suppose we want to insert the URL. So we will simply say here enter image URL. So here the user will enter the image URL and simply uh, when they click enter, you will see that here we will enter the image url and click on this button and now as we click this button guys we need to generate the pdf document so very first thing we need to do guys you need to include these cdns this is for the pdf kit cdn and the blob stream so blob streams what basically what it does guys blob stream is a special library basically it converts here it creates a pdf document inside the browser this is basically a library here which is supported by mozilla firefox inside the browser and uh, you need to also include this CDN. So simply include this. The link is given in the description. And the first uh, variable we will declare, guys, here files loaded. So it is, it, this will be zero. And here we will be providing uh, the files the image that needs to be inserted. So we can call this as image one. And here we can simply say here URL. We can provide a URL property. And this will be equal to whatever the user has written. So here we can basically make a function here when we click this button we can simply say make pdf so we can now basically write this all this code inside this function so as you click this button basically you can see and uh, we will be basically we have given the id you will see to this url field here so we can get the uh, image url that the user writes so we can simply say that document.query selector and here we will put the id which is url and then value so what is the value that the user is written so we will simply replace the dynamic value like this that's all you need to do right here guys so this is your url and now we will be initializing a new document pdf document with the help of this pdf kit library so we can simply call this constructor guys which is pdf document and inside this we can provide the properties first is the layout it can take two values either portrait or landscape so we can just stick to the landscape one and then it has uh, size options so you need to specify the size of the pdf document this is a width 311.83 you can manipulate all these options accordingly height is 595.28 uh, and then we can also assign the margins as well guys so basically if you put the margins from the top zero bottom to also zero we just need to remove all the margins and from the left position zero and the right position is also zero so after this guys we will simply initialize this document after we declared this 
with the help of this blob stream library that we have imported you can simply declare stream variable and we will pipe this document doc dot pipe and basically here we will pass initialize our blob stream constructor blob stream so now we will be drawing st st some stuff here and here basically we will be declaring a for loop guys here so simply a for loop will be there and uh, this will be running for uh, Basically, files will be an array here. You can also provide multiple images here. You can provide image 2, image 3. Basically, it's an array here. And we are looping through these array. And here we will simply say here files, file. And first of all, we will simply make a HTTP request to that image URL by using XML HTTP request. This is simply Ajax that we are doing, asynchronous JavaScript and XML. And then we will simply here in the next step, we will simply say here. Uh, dot xhr and there is a property here inside ajax if you don't know on ready state change and inside this property we will manipulate a function here so when the state of the request changes here we will compare if this dot ready state if the value is equal to 4 and if the state is equal to 200 200 basically as you know as the http code for success if the we will simply call this function guys which is a loaded file and we will pass this this reference here so this will simply mean that we need to load the image file from the url and we will simply write this function which is loaded file and inside this guys inside this function basically we will pass this reference which is xhr in like inside this and again we just need to loop through it var file in uh, files and inside this guys we will have if condition if files this is basically an array and we will manipulate the url property and if triple equal to xhr response url this is slightly complicated guys basically it is doing is it is going to the remote url and it is fetching the content of the image and it is initializing inside this array file data property we will simply say data property and this will be equal to xhr dot response so whatever response is coming from the image after this guy we will simply increment the value files loaded we will increment it by one so now there is one file available and again inside if condition if files loaded uh, if it reaches the end of the array we will simply stop that so we can simply say that uh, here object dot keys method and the files dot length so we will uh, basically this means that we are comparing the length of the array here if it reaches the length if it reaches the end of the array we will simply call this method which is show pdf so we also need to uh, assign this method guys so after you do this inside this function guys we just need to simply say here files file and uh, we just need to send this response request also so we just need to set the response type to array buffer because this is basically an image that we are requesting access to so first of all the image will be converted to array buffer and then it will be inserted into pdf document so first of all we will open this request as a get request and uh, here inside the second argument we will provide the actual file that we need to make the url so we are providing this url here that we have defined here you will see that so we are getting it like this and uh, after this guys what we need to say is that we will simply make this null after making that request we will simply say send null like this so after this guys we need to now execute this function which will actually show the pdf so show pdf so here basically guys this contains pdf kit library contains a method here which is image with the help of this method we can insert images using the base64 data here that we receive files.image1.data this is a base64 code of the image and then we need to provide the x coordinate and the y coordinate and then it contains an object here here we can provide the width of the image and the height of the image so this will be equal to doc.image.width so this is the pdf document width and pdf document height we can access this using this property doc.page.height so after this guys we just need to end 
if you want to add a new page you can add this like this doc dot add page and if you want to end this you can simply end by using this method guys so after this guys basically we have initialized this blob stream you will see that the stream variable and when it ends automatically this fire a function stream dot end we can listen on this basically when it finishes it will automatically call this event and we can basically <laughs> download this pdf document as the attachment so here we will simply convert this to a blob so this contains a method guys which is uh, two blob and here you just need to provide the mim type of the pdf document so this is application slash pdf and now we need to call a method guys which is save data and we will pass this blob object and the second argument will be the output file name so this i will say that output.pdf and now we just need to initialize this function guys save data and this will be equal to the function here and inside this we will simply say that uh, we need to create a dynamic element here the anchor element and here we will simply add this element to the body so document dot body dot append child we will uh, basically add this element to the body here you can see the body is empty right now you can see inside the body we have two elements and this third element will be added automatically this anchor element and we will simply basically manipulate the style of this we will not be displaying it on the screen so the user will not be able to see this but it will do the process in the background and inside this we will return a function guys which is having blob and the file name arguments from this function we will return a function so this will automatically execute so like this you can simply say let me see sorry just make this uh, as like this function function like this and then automatically execute this so this is a syntax you need to copy guys so like this so basically from this function we are executing this function so let url and here we can simply say window.url.create dot create object url and here we will be creating a simple base 64 code for the pdf document so here we will simply pass the blob and a href will be equal to url and a dot download so here we will be giving the file name which is passed here and we will simply dynamically click this element with the user click method and after this we will simply remove this window url dot revoke object url and simply we will pass the url that's all you need to do so now if i try to basically execute this if i try uh, basically if i put this uh, image let's suppose this image copy image address click add image uh, let me see guys what is i think some problem is there let me console log uh, console log the url So you can see that this is basically the image let me take this image that we inserted earlier on copy image address sometimes some images may not work So basically guys uh, the link is given in the description you can also run this code on the or on your own machine as well basically if you run this basically it will download this pdf file as attachment so you can also run this code also which is given and also you can run my code also which i shown you in this video so for no rhyme reason <laughs> that code was not working but still i will try to update for you on the blog post so thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next one